Thank you for tuning into the show. Of course, ad-free versions of this episode and all our episodes are available on our Patreon for just a dollar a month. That kind of thing means the world and it helps us keep the lights on. Of course, if you're watching on YouTube, make sure to like, subscribe, comment, and share. Do all that good algorithm stuff. And without further ado, let's get on with today's episode. East Coast. Now we're we're gonna do that thing uh, and go around the table and introduce ourselves. I'm Jason. I'm the dungeon master. Going around the table. Start with Karen. Hi, I'm Karen, and I play Joe, the human cleric. And Jameson. Oh, hey, I'm Jameson, and I play Larg. He is a half orc, uh, barbarian, and once again paladin. And Lisa. Hey. I'm Lisa, and I play Vela, the Minotaur Rogue. Uh, and Jamie. Hello, I'm Jamie. I play Tatiana, the Human Rogue. And last and certainly not least, Zach. What's up? My name is Zach, and I play Blevin Elmar Rutherford, the Human Bardlock. So let's give a, a super quick recap. Of, of things that are happening right now. You started a trek through hell, um, just trying to get to uh, a, 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 basically a weak spot so that you can kind of climb your way out of there. Same way, same way Darmok did. Um, he was you know, your guide uh, for the most part. All of a sudden, this, uh, this, this, well, for lack of a better term, an ivory tower springs up from the ground and it appears to be a way out. Like if you were to go through every every level here and get to the top of it, <clears throat> then uh, you you are essentially being judged by the gods, right? If you pass this test, you're you're out scot free. That's that's what you were told. So we're we're picking up uh, in the mid thirties here, level thirty five. And there are a hundred levels to this tower. That's that's what you've been told so far. And the last time we left things off back in springtime, um, 
uh, was uh, you guys kind of knowing that it's like, yeah, this is like a mystery slash puzzle uh, type of floor. And and that's that's fine. What I'd like you guys to do as the platforms raising, <clears throat> because every time you do one of these, there's a center platform that raises up to the the next level here and the platform that you're 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 raising up to is kind of kind of dark like a little a little bit dingy uh up here and uh the shadows are kind of like maybe playing tricks with your eyes because it's almost like you see movement in uh in the far corners and uh i love a perception check just to kick things off from uh, for everybody Mm -hmm. 15 well these are already better than the first ones I had you <laughs> do today Ooh. oh oh <clears throat> okay. oh nice I internally high five Darmok <laughs> <laughs> just kidding so this is um, it, it. It's kind of a, a it, it, the, the rest of this tower so far has been kind of bright and cheery, almost for lack of a better term. Um, it's 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 kind of uh, new looking, like some of it looked like it was marble. Some of it looked like it was kind of uh, like magic radiating off of surfaces. This one feels a little more dungeon esque a little bit. And um, you're going to see bars um, kind of inset in the walls all the way around this room. But it's like a small prison window that is just stretched horizontally all the way around. So it's 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 a little higher than like, I'd say, uh, I'd say like five, five and a half feet it starts and then it, it goes up. But you don't see anything behind it. It, it just looks pitch black behind that so either um this this maybe there used to be like a like a like a skybox or something you could see out of this or there was uh something trapped there or or something but i'm gonna say with i'm gonna say blevins and josephine are going to see something skitter out of the out of the corner of their eye just kind of just kind of almost like a, uh like a like a rabbit or something like that kind of like abrupt like oh i gotta get out of here type of type of skitter like and it's gonna be coming from your right hand side at like floor level eye level it it looks like it's coming from behind those bars but again, it's just kind of pitch black back there. So it's, you know, it's it's kind of it's the kind of darkness where it's like, OK, maybe this does that go on forever? Is that like, you know, is it uh, is it like a TARDIS where it's like bigger on the inside? And this does it kind of defies the uh, the 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 space of the tower itself? Or is it magic? Is it, you know? But this is uh, this is definitely a place like hanging chains, cobwebs, that type of thing. So it's 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 definitely sketchy. It's like single guy eating in a parking lot at a Chuck E. Cheese didn't take his kids there. Sketchy like it's it's definitely a reason to like look into it, but maybe not assume the worst yet. I think personally, Blevins is just going to take note of the skittering, but he's not going to alert the party just yet. We have torches, right? If I remember. Oh. Yeah. You, yeah. I, mean, I think Joe is going to maybe move towards the right with the, not too far away from the party, just to kind of see if like <laughs> the torch will light anything up to see if like, the light stops where the darkness starts or if it will permeate the darkness as you as you kind of approach this it 
it is illuminating some of that dark, but it's it's dim. Like this seems to be almost um, like magical in nature because it, it almost devours it. Like it's so inky black. Um, but as you get closer with a torch, there's going to be this little this this little gnarled hand that's going to kind of like reach forward and wrap around one of the bars. And and there are going to be these large wet eyes kind of like creep out of the darkness. And you're going to see like um, kind of like uh, not scaly, but definitely like picture picture like a traditional goblin type of thing, like but like kind of moist, like like just misted. You know what I mean? Just like. Like maybe a sweaty goblin type of thing, but definitely like kind of pointy features and stuff, just kind of like looking at you. But to be specific, these eyes aren't like, grr, let me, it, it, it just big, wet, big, wet Pippin eyes. That's what they are. I kill big, it. wet. <laughs> on fire <laughs> puzzle solved let's go <laughs> the only puzzle is why was this made <laughs> hubris is the only answer moving on <laughs> um she's gonna back up a little bit back towards the group and be like, hey, um, there's something in here <laughs> behind the bars, guys. As you back away, you're going to hear that 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 scamper again, and you're going to hear it, you know, 360 around the room. Like you're going to hear it like moving and like little little pebbles and stuff like that are going to be knocked over as this thing is is scampering around. And then you're going to hear it stop. And now it's it's over kind of where Larg is like it's moved like like 90 degrees uh, around the room and it's it's kind of settled over there is it kind of peeking out in the same way it was before yeah definitely again the same like it's like reaching out like kind of like peering out to get a closer look at you type of thing and then you know, it, it'll kind of like hang back a little bit just in case, like. Does it appear to be more than one of these creatures? Uh, not that you could tell. Like, it, it seems like if there are more than one, they're definitely laying low because this is um, it, it. Only one of them is making noise at a time. Then it's that kind of thing. <clears throat> hmm. So Largo will approach it kind of in the way, like if you're approaching a dog that is off its leash in the street, like not like, oh, come here, buddy, but not with fear either. Just like, I don't know what kind of dog you are yet, you know? Um, yeah. Like, you know, you look fine. You look like you might be scared, but you might also bite because you're scared. So that's kind of the level of, uh, of caution he's using when approaching it. But he's going to get within arm's reach of it and just see what it does if it doesn't run away in that time um so it's going to it, it it's gonna kind of come into the light and this thing is is minuscule like maybe maybe a foot tall we're counting like the points of its ears and stuff like that very um it is hunched over in this thing the like the the this this enclosure is not big enough for it um and again it's got these tiny little like little gnarled hands um and it's going to kind of grip the bars but its feet are way bigger like kind of like um almost like ape feet in that they're they kind of curl around the ledge and like hold on um and again big wet eyes it's going to like kind of curl out and then try to try to reach out and like Touch, touch Larg's arm. Are you real? Uh, Blev is just going to say, did that thing speak? Uh, I think it did. Yeah, we're, uh, well, I know I'm real. And he'll kind of glance at the others for a second. 
What are you? Uh, um, well, my name's... And there's a long pause. Ah. Uh, well, I don't... I don't remember my real name, but uh, Splat is what they call me. It's the sound I make when I bounce off walls. <laughs> Why are you bouncing off of walls, Splat? It, mostly because people throw me into them. <sighs> Who throws you? And the, again, like he's it, like he's gonna like kind of peer out, and he's got this he's got this um kind of angular head, uh, but his big wet eyes really almost hang out of his face like it's it's so evolutionarily speaking again like a pippin <laughs> completely ill-suited to the environment i'm imagining the the baby leper in madagascar or, or lemur yeah in, in mm -hmm. leper. yes okay yeah yep so anyway. yeah uh yeah um there's a little scrat in there there's a little like uh like you know just, just like yeah um and he, he's looking around to see, like, how many of you are there. It, well, that, that would be the other demon, sir. You're not... You, you're not here to hurt me, are you? No. I'd prefer not to, if we don't have to. Uh, I don't suppose you know how we can continue up this tower that you're in. Can, can I ask why you want to do that? Well, we're in we're in hell, right? This is hell. Yeah, yeah. So quite. we want to we want to leave. Right. We're going. You, we're you, going home. It, okay. Y you know, climbing this tower isn't going to do that for you, right? Like it, it, it's not. It's it's not like an elevator. It's not. It's not going to go straight to the top and 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 let you out, right? I'm out of character. I feel like I'm miss. Like I just want to make sure what he's saying lines up with what my rem memory is. Wasn't the tower literally two, like as far as far as yes. the can see? Yeah. It's like how? Yeah. Okay, good. I just want to make sure I wasn't misremembering. Okay. Yeah. No. 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 no <laughs> okay. No. Uh, so so Larg will just kind of look confused and say how. This tower is really big. When's the last time, like, it's, it breaches the top. The, the top of what? The top of hell. I don't know. <laughs> it's, it goes all the way. I don't know. God said we could leave if we got up there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, no. Okay. I, I, I see what's going on. It's, it's. There's there's been a bit of uh, a bit bit of a mistake here. You, you're being tortured. See, the, 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 the hope is uh, terrible. Don't 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 have hope because then you you get upstairs and then they kick you down and there's no there's no out. It's it's well, it's hell, isn't it? Well, yeah, that's. I mean, I you get that, but we have um we brought a Darmok. Uh, he knows the way out, and we're gonna you know. We got it. We got it. We know a guy, I guess. We, this the... He's going to like his his hands and feet are going to like recoil and like he's kind of like slipping back. You, you go who? Oh, yeah. Darmok's inside him and he'll point at Blevins. <laughs> and Blevins is like he's a he's a couple feet back. They've been having their conversation. Blevins like I say, um. What what kind of conversation you guys have in there? Oh, he he doesn't think we can get out this way. Um, so I'm just I'm trying to understand that. What? Larg, why are you talking to demons? They'll tell you anything. You wouldn't lie to me, would you? And then turn around. You wouldn't lie. You're so little. <laughs> I I well. <laughs> I got nothing to gain, if if that's what you mean. I I just I I'm trying to kind of pass this. It, so that guy mm -hmm. has the Darmok just like in him. 
yeah, who I who I've beaten up a couple times already. So um, we got you know we're okay on that front. All right, but Darmok's so, inside okay. him, but Darmok <clears throat> is helping us go up there. But he's not leaving. We're gonna make sure he. I mean, sorry. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, and at this point uh, Blevins is going to get closer does a demon start to recoil even more he's definitely on edge okay like he's a little he, he's going to he's going to lean in <clears throat> and, and, and try to whisper right to Lark why would he do that Why would he help us? No, 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 no. Like, why would he? Why would he? Why? Why would he that that the, 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 the merge thing? Why would he? Why would he do it? I mean, he does a lot of gross stuff. I don't really understand. So, I, I don't. I'm. I don't know. Uh, maybe Blevins it seems to get along with him pretty well. If you want to ask him, but I don't. I have no idea. He's a weird guy. Let me ask. Can I ask you a question? Oh, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. If we can't go out, if we can't leave by going up, if all that's going to happen is we get thrown back down, then why not go up? Right? Let's see what happens. Like, the it, best case, we're right and we leave. Worst case, we start over and we go out the other way. Well, you seem, you seem pretty confident. You seem pretty sure. Is, do you think maybe, do you think maybe I can go with you? I'm not, I, I'm not from here, if that helps. Well, where are you from? I, well, I mean, I, I used to be mortal. I used to be, you know, like you. Not, not big and orcish, but the other parts, you know, living. I don't know. Uh, so so he asked if he can come with yeah. us, right? Yes. Okay, yeah. Um, so there will be a uh, sizable pause while Larg thinks about it. Um, and then he'll open his mouth to answer. And he'll close it again. And he'll turn and look at Blevins, but Darmok's in there. And he'll turn and look at the other three. And he'll go, <laughs> he wants to come with us. <sighs> His name is Splat. He's going to, like, you're going to see the little hand just like, hi. Like, just kind of, like, <laughs> out from behind the... Hmm. Now, Larg, I can see Splat here is a fine fellow, but um, he, I, I think we should uh, stick to our constituents we have here. And he's, uh, he's peeking at us through bars, right? Like he's enclosed. He's trapped. Oh, yeah. And we've like um, been able to, to you. hear the whole conversation. It's not big area. Right? Sorry, what was that? Oh, we've been able to hear like that whole conversation too. Yeah, it's okay. not. It's yeah. yeah, I I you know the the whispering, it's like, hey, why would you do that? Maybe you'd have to lean in, but the rest of it, like it's a little echoey in here too. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like it, if there's if there's a question about it's like I don't eat much, if that helps. Like I, I just <laughs> nibble occasionally. I, I I can find my own food. I've been around. So I know the area. I'm pretty useful. Can I roll like an inside check oh. on that? Sure. <laughs> She'd be like, mm. which, which part? <laughs> Doesn't pretty eat much. useful I part. You do eat much. <laughs> oh, okay. Because if I remember correctly, Bella was like, we don't even fucking need Darmok. Why do we need splat? That's, that's a fair question. You know what? <laughs> Truth. Nope, oh, never mind. He's that, trustworthy as fuck. <laughs> yep. I believe everything he says. Vote for Splat. I think like, <laughs> like just <laughs> he just like cocks his head in like that puppy dog Splat way. That, 2024. That, that right twinkle hits you. 
She sold. So that oh, is a, he's just too cute. Yeah, that is a crit one. So that's a that's a five total. Um, Damn it. So, I mean, if anything, you're looking at him, he's like, he probably doesn't eat much. Right. She probably looks <laughs> at him, honestly, because he's kind of like gross looking. And she's like, I love him. Oh, he's God. my new pet. <laughs> <laughs> she would die for splat now. Oh, my God. <laughs> Uh, if there's a pause after it's like, oh, I could be useful. And there's kind of that, 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 that fry narrowing his eyes kind of like meme. <laughs> okay. Uh, what if I told you how to get out of this room? Just, just kind of showing you, I, I, I know things. If you can get out of the room, then why are you in a box? Oh, no, I'm I'm here voluntarily. No, no one can get me if I'm in here. Then he's going to hmm. turn sideways and just kind of slip out of the bars and just like he's kind <laughs> really of hanging on the outside. Of- I'm really glad you said that because I was thinking that I'm like, isn't he small enough that he can get through those bars? Yes. <laughs> like, the only thing like he has to wire. Work- so as he's like turning his head and getting out of there, like his eyes are going to rub up against the bars and kind of like slime them up a little bit. No, but like that's the only thing that it it's, not, it's his head's like a this. mad ball. No, <laughs> old slimy eyes. <laughs> these 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 don't blink. So it's uh, you, you gotta you gotta keep them moist. <laughs> Mark just shudders visibly. Um, he's gonna like so after he climbs out, like he's he's gonna like gingerly climb down and hang off the ledge. So there's a good four and a half foot gap as he's hanging, and then like he's gonna look down and like let go, and he's just gonna fall ass first like he's got no coordination like he tries to like he lands almost like he he broke dance into that position where like one leg one arm like he's playing twister mm. it's like oh and we hear splat yes like very because again he's kind of damp and this is like a cobblestone floor so just oh, like God. like <laughs> he hits the cobblestone and like goes oh look at that yeah uh, <laughs> It's an onomatopoeia. It's <laughs> a good name. It's a good name. Um, it's like a Batman 66, just splat. <laughs> like, just, you know. He did the thing. He- <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bedtime. Mm-hmm. Uh, he's going to, like, he's going to kind of get up and, like, tug on, on st- whatever the first thing that he can grab on on Lark, whether that be like the top of his boot or something like that, and just kind of like pull him over. And he's like, Look, uh, see those chains? Those, those three? Yeah. Pull pull on the middle one first, then the the left one twice, and then the right one. And whoop, waddy. I'm going to insight that real quick. <laughs> sure. Feels prudent. Mm, that's an 11. That's an 11. <sighs> With an 11, I, I think you'd still be on the fence of like whether he's telling the truth. But if he isn't telling the truth, he's really kickable and right next to you. <laughs> yeah. So I think that's the thing. Like, Lark will look up at the chains and he'll look at everybody else and then he'll look at Splat and he'll be like, listen, the last floor we were on, we fought a dinosaur. Um, and we killed that. So if this isn't, if like, that's not exactly Mm. what happens, like I have to, I have to squish you. That's fair. You know, that's fair. I, I, I don't, I, I don't make a habit of, of lying to people. And and, and again, I, I think, uh, you're confident go get a bunch. So, uh, I could just, uh, you know, uh, maybe uh, hit your right, maybe hang out on your shoulder, and just kind of point, and 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 uh, like a tour guide. 
Uh, all right, but you got to hang on on her shoulder, and he'll point to Vela, and <laughs> <laughs> and he'll go over to uh, to the chains. <clears throat> She'll frown, but she trusts him. She's like, "I believe you." <laughs> With my that one, it, 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 <laughs> just just kind of looking at the two, it's like actually, and not not to, not to insult you. But uh, yeah, she's she's a bit more preferable, isn't she? Like a little more plush, a little more fur, little, you know, a little <laughs> less sharp. <cushy. laughs> Easy. You, you look, you, you're covered in sharp. Because you, you look like a fucking, you know, you, you look like a metal album cover. Like the more like <laughs> brooding. Like, yeah, I'm going to wrap yeah, some yeah, of these yeah. chains around me after I pull on them. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. So uh, I think um, <clears throat> Blevins he's gonna start twitching a little violently. He's just gonna start jittering a little bit, and he's gonna start trying to belch, but nothing's coming out. And after a little bit, this like this him disembodied voice is gonna just come from his throat, and it's gonna say, "Do not trust ugly foul creature." <clears throat> Excuse me. Sorry. Shall we continue? He's going to keep walking. He'll walk by Tatiana and just kind of lean down and be like, I don't know what to do about that. <laughs> and then just keep <laughs> Preaching to the choir, Bob. <laughs> Please handle. I'm not sure. <laughs> um... Blevins, was that you or was that your inhabitant? I'm sorry. Okay, so not aware. Got it. <laughs> Tally ho. I'm sure that's not going to come back in any sense. Yeah, that's not going to be a problem later, I'm sure. It'll be fine. That'll be future us problem. We don't have to worry about that right now. <laughs> worry about that later. So I'm gonna head over to those chains, and uh, correct. Uh, this middle one once, left one twice, and then the right one, right? That is correct. Good right. memory on you. And mm. I pull on, I pull on them. Um, how much give is in these things? Like, what does it feel like I'm like pulling on? It's like a big, satisfying, like kerchunk. Like, okay. you wouldn't look at them and think, "Oh, these are levers. They're just like hanging chain." But it's like, okay, he says it's good. So, like, as you pull down, it's like a there's like a counterweight somewhere. So when you pull down, it's like a big, satisfying, like, "Oh, that feels good." Like that type of thing. You know, it's been pulled. Yeah. Yeah. You know. All right. Cool. So after the fourth one, you're gonna hear. Uh, you're going to hear gears kind of like whirring and then you're going to see that center platform kind of like boom, boom. like it's it's it, it looks like it's ready to move. So it's just waiting on you. And he's he's going to kind of look like look at you with like a big toothy grin, but his teeth are all kind of like. Fucked like real bad, like just <laughs> just kind of like like some are sharp and some are dull, but like, you know, in a human mouth. Like there's a gradual, it's like, these are molars and incisors. Someone just took a fistful of teeth and whipped them at his mouth. And then just like, however they, they went in there and it's like, perfect. And then they walked away. Right. Like a five-year-old's drawing of teeth kind of. Mm. Yes, yeah. exactly. Cool. Uh, awful. Uh, <laughs> so Fargo Shrug and I, I'm all right. I guess, uh, I guess we're done here. He'll, he'll stand on the platform. Uh, he's going to pat pat over like big, wet, smacky sounds uh, with his feet because he kind of walks like heel toe, heel toe. So it's like he's wearing flippers uh, and he's going to like just kind of like toddle up to to Vela and just like hold a hand up like he's asking for upsies. <laughs> Should I? All right. Here you go. Come on. Like armpit up and on the shoulders. Yes. <laughs> She'll say you can. She's so, like, do not pull on my horns. You will cut yourself. 
It's not, it's not how you Vella do it. Like, already reaching for the horn. I knew like, he was. Just, like, <laughs> just be careful. Melly, you're going to have a wet spot. Eh, this is hell. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's wet or hot. Which makes it humid. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, as you guys are like climbing back up on this platform, he's he's going to say, you know, uh, if if we leave, uh, I know my way around ground floor hell a bit, a bit better. But the, the, the tower's fine. The tower's fine. It's up to you. We're going to try the tower first. I need one of you <clears throat> to pick a dice size so we can go up the tower a bit more. So, because it's been 55 days, can you remind us very briefly <laughs> of what the rules are for the tower? Very, very similar to Travel Die, where you're just you're basically just uh, you're wagering like you get up the tower faster by picking a, f a bigger die size, but you, you know, you risk something really bad happening if you roll poorly. That's it. OK, I think we did and a D20 bad thing could last be time. Anything. You yeah, did. This, I, yeah. yeah I, you guys swung big, I think. Because it was my birthday. Rolled. Yeah, I was going to say, Karen right. rolled last time. And she got a 14. <clears throat> Don't let me roll, because you know what I'm doing. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm, I might do the same thing, so. So I guess. All the here. Same. Do you know what? I want everybody to give me a flat D20, and whoever rolls highest is going to be uh, is going to be our chosen champion. Uh-oh. Ain't me. <laughs> now, negative. Oh, but it ain't Blevins. <laughs> I think it is. You rolled a 17. Just tell God intended. Damn, there's a lot of crit ones go. in there. Okay. Jameson rolled twice. I didn't think it went the first time. It took like a minute. Oh. Okay. So, Zach, you're our man. Um, and with a 17, you, you rolled head and his shoulders better than everybody else. So... <laughs> Keep that energy if if you decide to, yeah. to roll a d20. Like keep keep it in the uh -huh. the upper echelon. <clears throat> upper echelon. Okay, d20. We're going big. Okay, I feel good after that 17. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Mentally high five, Darmok. <laughs> there we are. Oh, hey. that's my thing. Not bad. Oh, 15. Nicely done. So. <clears throat> this is perfect. Can I tell you why this is perfect? Because we're halfway This puts up you at level hour. 50. That's right. Now, from here on out, a couple little twists. One, every roll is going to be a blind roll. It's going to be in a dice tower, oh, so you no. can't see the result. Yeah. Uh -oh. I love it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and We're halfway there, living on a <laughs> prayer, baby. Obviously, the stakes go up, right? Like it's you know, it's it's going to be a little more um, meaty, substantial, that type of thing. Um, you might have some choices to make. Who knows? I don't know. So jumping Can back we on this, thank place. Splat for getting us there. Thank you. I mean, Splat had very little to do with it, but he will take a thank you. I don't know. If once the platform starts rising, I think Vela would probably like pat his foot just be like well done that's the <laughs> good job splat that is very much a thing where like he has to kind of hang on with his feet mm -hmm. so like definitely like if he's if he's like sitting behind your head and his little legs are dangling like they're almost going to be like lapels like they're going to like come down and just like hook under your uh. your 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 shoulder things and just like you know, kind of like tap out a rhythm so he, every once in a while. It's like boop, 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 boop. Like he's so he's latched on pretty good then. <clears throat> yeah, like his. You know, okay. like actually, I got to do one thing, and this is something like I gotta. Okay, I gotta roll a flat d twenty myself, uh, and if it's on the lower side, I gotta. 
Okay, never mind. See if You're Splat fine. slimes himself. Okay. No, no. Oh, I was going to no. see if he dries his eyes off on that the back of your head splat. or something. You know what I mean? Like, it's like very Pippin. Like, just, just like good eye rubbing, you know? But he's not. He's not going to do that. Thank you. That would be rude. <laughs> he rolled for self discipline. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, no, that's, that's, that's like a second day activity. This, this, we got to get to know each other. <laughs> you guys are going to, uh, continue to raise up through here. Another 15 levels. You are on level 50. <clears throat> and when you get here, it is not a circular platform. There is a long, spacious hallway in front of you. This is all very well lit now, almost like it's uh, fluorescent office lighting, that type of thing, like very well lit. Um, everything is cleaned immaculately, and there is a large red carpet rolled out in front of you. And I'd say about 15, 20 yards down this hallway, it sort of opens up into a like a grand banquet hall. And there is a table full of food stretched out in front of you. Are we even hungry? I mean, it's hell. So like you don't like you don't have to eat. Like it's 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 it depends on what section of hell you in you're in because like some of them really get off on you starving like that starving to death but never actually dying thing this isn't really that so like food's nice <clears throat> like i would like each one of you one by one to give me a flat d20 and see how close the foods on offer are to things your character would really love like when you first look at the table, right? Like, okay, let's start with, ooh, Zach. No. Oh, we're going by one. I'm sorry. Ooh, I just rolled. Ah, there's so many non-ranch products on this table. <laughs> Disgusting. <laughs> ah. So, uh, Zach, there's not a whole lot on this table that is super appealing to Blevins. That doesn't mean that the stuff there isn't. Um, it isn't good. It just means that maybe Blevins is a little more picky or maybe it's like, oh, that'd be perfect, but it's got veggies on it. That's me. But like, I'm a weirdo. Mm -hmm. So like, you know, uh, then on the opposite end of the spectrum, Lisa, like mm -hmm. fella's going to see a whole bunch of stuff. It's like, I'll have one of those and two of those. And like, it's just perfect, you know? Probably reminds her of like when she finally got hot food up in the snow. She's like, oh, Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So with all the dragonborn, she's like, I want that meat, and I want that meat. Um, uh, Splat's going to lean over. We're going to stop to eat, right? I was just about to ask you, is that good? Can we do that? Uh, I've never been offered food. I mean, that looks good. I, I doubt they're going to lay it out just to, you know, pull it away or trick you. Or, uh, why, why, why would they do that? Mm, I don't know. Hell. Who knows? But it does look really good. You want to go try it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She's going to trot down, <laughs> pun intended, to go. <laughs> if you walk over to the table, he is going to, like, hop off mm -hmm. of you once the table is in. Because that's a, that's a far enough drop that it's like, okay, cool. And there is a large turkey. And he is going to crawl into the butt of the turkey and just <laughs> what? slowly start to like, you could see him pulling at it from the inside. So like the turkey's kind of like reverse bubbling. Like it's weird. Like he's a so weird little guy. It's like if guy. the stuffing just ate the turkey. Right. Like he's a weird little guy. <laughs> like a pair like of he feels safe and warm in there. Like he, you know, there's no one like well, I get the ribs the are kind of like the and it's delicious. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Um. Well, I think Fella's gonna wait and see if anything happens to him as he's eating this. She's like, he's I want this, jester. but also <laughs> a little guinea pig pet. Kind of. So if nothing starts I'd say to five happen, straight minutes, yeah, yeah, like five straight minutes are gonna go by where he's just picking at that, and you're gonna you're gonna see where like the the like 
the the turkey's getting thinner you'll hear like a rib break every <laughs> once in a while and like he's getting to the point Is where he like, quiet yeah just kind of like yeah like you're gonna hear munching and like the little legs in the back every once in a while like mm. like, like it's just like he's it's gross adorable that's like, what i was about to say this is the most of, adorable you know gross I mean? thing i've ever seen in my life right i love like him so very much. you know but again nothing's gonna sneak up if you're in the thing you're eating like you know um so blevin is kind of doing something he's he's kind of he's at the table he looked at the food he was disappointed because there was like no food you could actually dip in ranch he is a lover of ranch for some reason uh so he he i don't know if people should roll like a, a perception check for this but he's kind of looking at splat like he's part of the meal oh there oh for just a second then he, tra- he snaps out of it you know what everyone give me a perception to see if you you notice that because that's that's interesting nope <laughs> jesus uh so tatiana definitely man that is just a fucking weird guy (laughs) (laughs) he's all we don't know what you're gonna do you know know? (laughs) (laughs) i think you've noticed every weird thing he's done but with crystal clarity like everything it's like she's she's seeing all the little red flags and i'm just like ooh. You get yeah. that turkey. I'm proud of you. <laughs> yeah, like Josephine would like kind of spot it a little bit too. But like it would be with a 14, it would it would be like, did he? Like I know that like there was mm. something weird about that, but like oh, weird. Did, did, did you, <laughs> yes. Yeah, like eat the turkey, that? splat. Get fat and full. Oh, <laughs> <clears throat> Does he say that? Like delectable he- food <laughs> under his breath. Excellent. So again, I think that's something only Tatiana would hear. Like it would be okay. like, yeah. And I think she she would say that and give Lark a little <laughs> shoulder, a little shoulder nudge. Be like, it's a fucking weird guy. What are we gonna do? Like it's just this constant <laughs> banter between a fucking weird boomer Lark and Tatiana of like. How are we going to deal with this? Are we keeping track? Should we, should, should we keep a list of the weird shit he's done? <laughs> <laughs> Write it down and tell HR. <laughs> we got to document uh, it. I Otherwise, like it's possessed. our word against his. And, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> his and Darmos. I got a great lawyer. <laughs> um, yeah. He's, he, Lisa, are he, you okay? He's just right up here under my ribs. So I was trying okay. to get him to stretch out. Oh, oh. sorry. No, I was just worried for a second. Oh, no, it's not even a butterfly. It's fucking it's just right here. A couple of Could you to do it? I'm like, I'm okay. Could you imagine like in the middle of the game, Lisa's like, all right, guys, I gotta go. Yeah. Um, oh no. Oh, you can't. You okay. Can't but like, it. I was like, there was a foot right there, like bumped out. I was like, oh God. Oh, not gonna lie. Like yeah, the last level zero monk in there doing unarmed strikes. The last time we played before I had Gwen, remember I like made a weird face. And you guys are like, "Are you good?" And I was like, "Yeah, I'm fine." Yeah. That was totally a contraction. Yeah. Oh, um, that's no. funny. That's why I was like, Oof. every now and then I just gotta so- stretch him out. Sorry. I just, <laughs> I just, I wanna, I wanna say this. I know we've had a rough time recently. Baby comes before sex. <laughs> Just want to throw that in there. What if I was just like, oh, yeah, sorry, my water just broke. I'm fine. Like, yeah, I, it's like, wow, you know what? Hats off to you. But hospital now. I actually had no idea that I was having contractions that whole weekend. Oh, man. That's my fear. I'm like, because I don't know. So I'm like, uh, mm-hmm. is okay. that new? Yeah. That's new. Oh, well. Yeah, it's kind of, it's like pain is just pain, right? Mm-hmm. You just like, oh. It's hard to just identify that on the moment. My understanding of this, it's tough. Yeah, Yeah. from from secondhand watching it happen, my understanding of it is you don't know you're having one. Like it keeps being a mystery until suddenly you're like, nope, that was it. Yep, okay. Now I know what that (laughs) feels like. (laughs) That's not a fucking Braxton Hicks. That's the real deal. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Things I'm glad I will never experience. Chapter seven. (laughs) Oh man! Uh, yeah. All right. Sorry. So, 
So, uh, yeah, Lark didn't see what weird shit he did, but he believes Tatiana when she says it because <laughs> he knows who she's talking about. Um, but after like five minutes of watching this little gremlin eat, Lark's going to be like, all right, whatever. And he's going to go find a spot. <laughs> really? couple- What's your appetite? <laughs> Watching him eat. He's going to move a few seats down from wherever Blevins is, and then he'll start. <laughs> no, I say that out loud. I'm sorry. Um, Don't just going to grab some pastries. Like if there are any fun pastries? There's, there's like, so the entire thing is just kind of, uh, it isn't laid out in any <clears throat> like uh, conceivable pattern, but like there's there's going to be like a big Jello mold next to <laughs> next to a turkey, and then like so there's like here's a '60s dessert, like here's it, and then there's there's going to be like a big like a steaming bowl of creamy mashed potatoes, and then there's going to be like these little these little um these little like dinner roll things that are kind of encrusted with like parmesan. So it mm. kind of it's kind of like a little ring around it. So it's just a little bit of like cheesy, kind of like crispy, cheesy goodness. Like not like you, you could tell they've been like brushed in olive oil. Um, and then like you you jump over here and there's like one fucking apple pie. Ooh. So like there's like <laughs> yeah, but what kind of apples are in it? That's important. <laughs> True. Uh, Smith. Not the trash apples. <laughs> They're not like Cortland's. red I'm not delicious. Going near it. It's got to be Cortland. Red delicious would make a trash apple pie though. I'm not. That, see, yeah. Yeah. Mm, it would just this be is a real lush. mealy apple pie. Mm. Mm. Yeah. I I I <laughs> had no idea there were different tiers of apple. Oh yeah, no fucking idea. Mm-hmm. Oh, mm-hmm. Yeah. No idea. I I I I realized today it's like am I eating the fucking like Walmart of apples? Like is that what I'm into? Like my husband works there. You know that kind of makes sense now because they have tier lists for everything nowadays. I guess yeah. so. No, that makes sense. Yeah. I only knew of like four apples. Like I didn't know that many apples. So like, there's a, it's like there's dude, there's the, actually too many G- apples. My kid got Gala. upset because there were too many apples. <laughs> it's like it's overwhelming. Yeah, yeah. my husband's like, oh, the in. the toe apples are on sale next week. I was like, oh, which ones? He goes, well, I hope you like Paula Reds because that's the only ones we're getting. And I was like, oh, gosh. you have opinions about Paula yeah. Reds. <laughs> <laughs> but man, Jameson, you got to think about like back in the day when you were a kid, it was only like, oh, red apples, orange apples. Yeah. Or, you know, like yellow apples. But nowadays it's just like, yeah. it's like it's you have this sort of apple. You have this. You have that. You have. Yeah. It's just so much more information you, you have that, nowadays. It's, it's overwhelming for a kid. Lady? What's that about? <laughs> like, it's what? amazing. They're very good. I'm a big fan. They of are very good. Mac and Lady is just red. But anyway, sorry, I I've derailed us on apples. Have any oh, hard, sorry. Yeah, no, I just I don't have any hardcore <laughs> opinions on apples, well, and now that, I feel like I do. I need it. some? Like, yes, should I? You should expand. I yeah. don't know if you'll find yeah. them in that little podunk town you have. They probably only have the crab apples in the grocery store. But there's got to be like a like a farmers Pick market type thing, right? Yeah. Thing, yeah. Go I mean, go to a yeah, farmers market. Find right? some guy behind there who like picks the goddamn apples and be like tell me about apples and he will and then you will learn because they know more than i do i don't know shit i just I'm like oh this one's not it's like i don't know anything was was johnny appleseed a real thing was that based on something or like was he a murderer or something like everything else oh. in fucking history i find out about like, i think what, like five like, percent of I it was i think that was something like, okay, like mostly it was like folklore yeah. though right yeah totally like, like he was Bunyan a real guy. person okay so he's like jesus <laughs> He's, yeah, like, is and he was born and he died, yeah. but nothing about him take. is true. Yeah, exactly. Okay. <laughs> Got it. Okay. <laughs> By the transitive the property, Johnny death. Appleseed is Jesus. Yes, like, exactly. I, like that's Jesus, right. but in America, he was resurrected by apples. Yeah, resurrected this by apple. <laughs> <laughs> but he came back as a red delicious, and no one follows him anymore. <laughs> that, that so go to that like, church. The body of just, the body of bitten to immediately. <laughs> Body that would just it. be like a, a nice piece of apple crisp. You oh, know? Yeah. man. Do you taste Jesus this week? Yeah. Real crunch. Man, yeah. real good. Oh, like, no. just, just... Nice cider. <laughs> <laughs> the blood of apple seed. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, they're already in hell, so. Guys, I've mean, got a religion to yeah. found. I got to go. Add a few more levels. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
I got some paperwork to fill out, guys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to start something real quick. Finish this LLC. I just figured out how to not pay taxes. <laughs> uh, what are we even doing? Uh, food. There's food on this table. Um, you're going to avoid the pie for now. That, that you know, but so this uh, this room you can see the hallway where you came down and stuff and and it but there's it's very very bright like uh, like an ethereal light almost like the uh the blackness behind the bars before it's that but you know with 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 light like beyond this table uh where like maybe a wall would be or something it just sort of it feels like it stretches out into nothingness and you're gonna hear like a clip clop Clip clop, clip clop, and uh, one lone deer is going to just sort of like w- wander into the room, as it were, kind of like look at you, like ear flicks, and then just wander up to the table and just start nibbling fruit off of it. Well, I guess the feast is for everyone. Does it look like a normal deer, like Bambi-like, or is it, you know, I, like black a, deer because hell? No, no. Like, it looks like a full-grown deer. Um, it, like... <clears throat> no red antlers. Nothing, definitely nothing demonic about it. it I, I guess the thing that makes it the weirdest is it's just a fucking deer. Like, it, you know what I mean? Like, you expect it's it. It's in the wrong forest. But well, this it, is hell. It, like, why is it part of a challenge? Is it, you know what I mean? Like, it's just, you know. <laughs> what did he do to get in here? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm afraid of. Oh, don't fuck with that guy. Like, <laughs> Friendliest looking guy in the prison cell. You stay away from that guy. <laughs> Uh, Cannibal. <laughs> yeah. I want to roll insight on this deer. Uh, <laughs> Can I? I really want. Like, I know that like splat it seems to be doing okay inside the turkey, <laughs> but like I really want to like I don't know like perception check or like investigate this food just to make sure it's sure. safe. Uh, sure. Which one would that be? I would say, give me like, okay. I'll checking on splat is free, right? Like just kind of okay. like peeking inside. Like, Said I like you know yeah, you're just he, kind of like is he you know. full? Is he still still eating? So by this point, like his little his little feet have flapped out down there. Uh, like he is on his back within the turkey, flapped oh, out. He's so like, comfortable. Like his feet have stretched out and wrapped around the oh, uh, drumsticks. The, the drumsticks, yeah, no. like just kind of like holding them. Okay, splat, don't make love to it. No, he's, he's just doing, like man. very different. Splat. He's just splat. Very satisfied. Like very. <laughs> like <laughs> he's just. Yeah, you're just gonna. Well, you're he's just, a demon. Like he's like. Ah, like just kind of like very. <laughs> it's like, man, what a good meal. Um, and if you if you watch sh- football, <laughs> <laughs> if you check in on him, um, there would be like a it's like little help, like just kind of like he'd poke the top of the turkey, and like his belly is distended to the point where he can't fit out of the hole yeah. that he came in through. So it's like if. Ma'am, if you'd be so kind as to just pull on my feet, and and I'll just I'll probably slide, slide right out. It's quite buttery. Oh God, that not, that's just me, not not Bella. She'd probably be like that. Tra- <laughs> that tracks. Okay, I, let go of the drumsticks. I can't pull you out if you're hanging on. There'd be there'd be like a bit of resistance, like just kind <laughs> of like it's like it's instinct. It's like but. Yep, yep. Mm, yeah, okay. let go. Like, let and go. then just let go. <laughs> okay. You just like, pull and... him out like a baby fawn. Yeah. Like just kind of like, just, yeah. And... Just. <laughs> so there'd be kind of like a, like as his I belly mean, gets like a to suction, the opening. Like a... <laughs> yes, like a, just a nice little, like just just go. like boom, and he like kind of like drop out, and he's holding a little piece of meat in his hand, and he's going to offer that to you. Oh, no, is it the gizzard? Like ah. No, no, he's not gross. Like oh. he's just gonna offer you. Like <laughs> I like gizzards, but okay. No, thank you. 
I, I mean, I know, Lisa I've likes never had a <laughs> Rip it out. <laughs> I've never had a gizzard. I don't know. That's anyway. what you like. <clears throat> uh, thank, thank you, Spot. Thank you. Huh. And he's just going to lay, like, lay there, just kind of, like, eyes wide open, because, of course, they are, like, staring up, just kind of, like, just zoned out. Like, the beginning of Apocalypse Now, just, like, fucking, like, just staring at the ceiling. <laughs> just Did he slide back on top of the turkey as his territory, like a mound? <laughs> uh, I don't think he's moving right now. Um, but okay. If you give me an investigation check, like, you can kind of, like... Just kind of get a baseline for the food, like just kind of yeah. like giving it an eyeball. It's like, oh well. Okay, this would be a flat D twenty, I think. Ah. Uh, oh well. God, that was well. It was almost a one. It's a seven. Seven. Yeah. So <clears throat> there's nothing. Not that this means much, but there's nothing about this food that looks off. Other than the fact that it's here in this right, place. Right. That's what I'm like. Point. I feel like food in hell. There's something wrong with it, but. But again, seems okay. this is obviously magic and like whatever. The deer's uh, uh, slightly off-putting, maybe. Um, and at one point, the deer is going to grab like a piece of fruit. Uh, I'm trying to think of other fruits, and all I can think of is fucking apples now. So like, he's going to grab an apple. <laughs> a little, like, <laughs> just, just like, a full pumpkin, great. like a full pumpkin in its mouth. Just, hmm. um, but no, just you, kind you of like drag you by the stem. Grab an apple and and walk over to Josephine. Oh, and like the apples clearly being like presented to you, like the deer's making eye contact. Oh, Blevin's uh, <clears throat> just gonna say, "Would you look at that? It's a peace off- offering. Beautiful." If they want you to eat it, I wouldn't. Does it like if I put my hand on the apple? Does it like let the apple go? Oh yeah, like if you're holding your hand out, yeah, it'll it'll yeah, because it's just like gingerly in there. It did, didn't take a big old bite out of it and like. Pfft. Like, you know, just so it's <laughs> like, <laughs> like being very gingerly, like carried over to, and it's like, bah, like just kind of like open its mouth. Can I, I want to also, can I touch the deer? Like, can I pet it? Like, sure. Let me do that. I, and, okay. Describe what you're doing in what way? Well, I think like with one hand, like she'll grab the apple and the other, maybe just like run it down like the front of its face like the the nose part you know okay like in face off like that thing that john travolta (laughs) does i was like thinking about like how you like rub the side of like a horse's face you know kind of like that but like it's a deer okay uh so it's just kind of a gentle like yeah the deer type yeah like okay like thanks um and like th- it, it's gonna like kind of hesitate for just a second, and then it, it's it's like, why are you fucking putting your hands over my eyes? Like it's just, you know, just for a second. Like it's like, oh shit, and then it's like, oh, oh, okay, that's 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 nice. And then um, the deer's actually going to say, oh, that's nice, oh, right, right there, right there, that's nice. I knew there was something up with this fucking deer. <laughs> <laughs> new- Love's just gonna call two new pets. <laughs> uh, sh- she'll like stop for a second and then just keep doing it. I guess like, like oh that's that startled her, but like maybe it's just like a magical. I don't know. Actually, hold on, <laughs> because now okay. that I'm thinking about it, trauma from animals. And now it's a talking deer might actually stop touching the deer. Yeah. She's going to stop. She's gonna, like when it starts talking, like- just stop and maybe take a step back. Like, oh, don't like that. <laughs> Red flex. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it, like after you take your hand, probably had his eyes closed. Like, yeah, that's 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 nice. And then you take your hand away and it's like, uh, Okay, I guess we're done with that. <laughs> Sassy deer. Um, um, just kind of looking around at everybody and like 
just no, just wait like, like, like you know anybody else want to pet me that's like, <laughs> Is it moving its actual like mouth when it's talking or is it like, yeah, a disembodied like, voice? No, it is like its lips are making like it's it's conjugating verbs and shit. It shouldn't be able to with its uh. mouth like it's it's. Yeah, we've got like a dog. Like, so it was just in Josephine's face like that was nice. <laughs> Right well, back up too. I mean, not uh, it didn't get up in her face. Like it's still at deer level. Yeah. Like it's you know like. Um, Lark's mm -hmm. actively eating. I want to make that clear. He's the only one I think in the group who sat down and is like, it's just got a big bowl of stew or something. You know, yeah. um, like a dumpling soup maybe. That'd be nice. I'm hungry, um, but I want to make a religion check. I don't know a lot about this new pantheon, but I want to see if maybe anything in the old pantheon lines up with with a deer as an avatar or something like that. Maybe sure, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Give me, give me that religion. Roll that beautiful bean footage. Uh, eight, eight. I'm just thinking about eight. soup. Yeah, it's just I mean, stew's good. Um, <laughs> the soup. Look at here. Oh, the soup. Ooh, beef stew sounds so good. Right? I, I feel like I, I feel like a lot of the, the the new pantheon. There's so much that it's like, well, all bets are off. Fuck it. Like I don't know what's going on. Yeah. But um, it, it, like I, I think the first thing that would spring to your mind is like nature. Like maybe nature. I don't know. But. At the same time, like you're having a feast like that, you know, maybe that's a clue or, yeah. you know, maybe like whatever. I don't know. Like none of it really makes a ton of sense so far. So Mark will just say he's got a mouthful of, of soup. He's like, so are you is this from the gods or or what? Um, He's he's going to turn around kind of awkwardly because it's the deer. <laughs> <clears throat> and and kind of you know walk on over uh and did you did you get a bowl of soup or just take the whole pot of soup and just start like i was thinking bowl but the pot would be a much more large maneuver so he's probably just got like a ladle and is eating it out of the pot yeah <laughs> it's a big feast so you probably ration like oh i can yeah, just nobody else to needs myself this right. there's other soups at the table yeah. yeah right he got a whole fucking turkey like yeah. i don't need to like yeah <laughs> oh those are the rules we're playing by okay <laughs> <laughs> i call soup like just <laughs> every splat for himself <laughs> Uh, and um, this deer's gonna like kind of clip clop over to you. Well, it's it's for me. So eat up. You're you're you you made it halfway so far. I that's calls for calls for celebration, right? Um, uh, Blevins is just gonna say, I'm 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 sorry, dear. I don't mean to be rude, but who are you? Do you answer to someone? A master, maybe. Um, he's gonna do the Lion King thing of like bending, like bending one, like kind of like taking a bow. Ambry, god of celebration, and merriment, and again, this is calls for celebration. Please e eat as much as you want. I saw you checking for poison. No poison, I swear. Again, dear lips. Like one of those shitty commercials where they make babies talk, like dear lips. <laughs> like, like the horse yeah. where they put peanut butter under yeah. his lips. Like, yes. That's, oh, yeah. That's <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> okay. Bella will probably start tucking in too, like, all right then. Can I insight check that and then I'll, I'll trust it and I'll eat some. Sure. Boom. <gasps> oh, 16. Oh my God, a good roll. Uh, yeah, that's that's like uh, seems on the level. Like it doesn't seem like okay. there's there's any lying. Also, people have been eating for a bit and like no one seems fine, right? 
I mean, Splat's I, borderline unconscious, but his eyes never close. So it's really right, difficult. Right. Like, like his his belly is just kind of like, you know, it's kind of like his tongue out. Down, like, <laughs> just, I love him I, so much. <laughs> Was like, oh, you if, if he dies, I will be very sad. I have, I have a very important question about Splat. Uh, do his eyes point in the same direction? Oh, please say no. It's okay. Almost. One, so no. it's, it's, yes. close. Uh, it's one of those things like, okay, have you ever been over to somebody's house and they've hung portraits and one of them is like half a centimeter mm-hmm. higher than the other one and now you can't unsee it? One of his eyes is just like, like just a little <laughs> bit, just the tiniest bit. Oh, I love okay, him. good, good, good. Um, He's my favorite. <laughs> So uh, Largo will actually try to catch um, uh, Joe's eye with that, and basically, and, and be like, um, "This is this is one of the gods," um, and he'll like finish, not the whole pot of soup, but like enough, <laughs> and like wipe his mouth off, and he'll like you know offer a bow or whatever he feels is appropriate because he has a religion score and I don't, but. Um, <laughs> <laughs> like uh, uh, you know thank you for this this is uh, a welcome surprise compared to the dinosaur yeah sorry about that um, <clears throat> it, there's a big adjustment uh, obviously and we really appreciate your, your patience uh, but um we kind of have to have you go through the paces if you're going to just leave hell. Uh, we're, we're still sorting through things, but we assume you were put here for a reason. There was, uh, you've all done horrible, terrible things, I'm guessing. Oh, no, I'm not even dead. Um, these guys, uh, well, I know she's fine and like pointing to Tatiana, like she's cool. I don't really know. <laughs> yeah, right. It's probably the, the most morally gray person in the group. <laughs> never done anything bad to me. So <laughs> I never saw nothing except for the attempted robbery of a casino. But that was that's in the past. Um, the countless murders, ago. but put that those was, aside. <laughs> yeah, all those murders. But uh, they, they were all bad people. No, uh, but he's like, um, actually, I think most of the people down here have been coming here for almost no reason. That's uh, been like a big theme of us walking around down here. So are you, is it like everybody going to have to do this or, or how's that going to work? This deer is going to smile at you, which is probably one of the most unsettling things. That. Like nope. it's, it, it's just <laughs> wrong. <laughs> You know, because like it's how does that even work? It's like, eh? like just kind of like it looks dumb. It yeah, looks I dumb. can't imagine it in three. any way other than early 2000s CG. Like, <laughs> yes. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, <clears throat> ah, just, just just Josh and you. We know we know all about it. We've been uh, we've been pretty busy, which is why uh, up there on uh well, the mortal realm, we really haven't done too much. We've been uh, sort of getting ready for a soft open, if that makes any sense. You were a pretty devout follower when uh, when you were alive, correct? Uh, I, mean, I tried. <sighs> well... <clears throat> We're hoping we can count on you in the future. Uh, We obviously have a lot to make up for. We know that, but we're going to be approaching things a little differently in, 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 in the coming months. And we just, we just want you to know that there is a plan. It's just, well, things weren't working before. Uh, I, I think you can agree. It was a little weird a couple of times. Yeah, I don't know. It got kind of confusing after a while, to be honest. The deer's going to sit down <clears throat> like like a dog, like sit down again. Just, just it's the weirdest deer. It's not how 
Yep. Dear sit, but okay. That's <laughs> <laughs> how this deer sits. Oh, this whole situation is for really fr- freaking Joe out because, like, <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. It's great. Tatiana uh, if, has if- seen weirder shit. This is <laughs> this is not crazy to her. She's like, oh yeah, talking deer in hell. Sure. <laughs> I mean, most of us are like, oh, it's a god. Okay, cool. Let's yeah. talk to like, oh, okay, nice. <laughs> I think that's the only thing keeping Joe from like totally freaking out. It's like, okay, this is a <laughs> god. It's fine. Mm-hmm, oh. mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, Blevins has his hands on his head and he's just kind of whispering to himself. Oh, We're going to have to do something. Like just trying to keep it together. Ambry's, okay. Ambry's going to like kind of like look around the room kind of taking you guys in and if he doesn't if he notices that people aren't eating um it, there'd be one more mention it's like still not poisoned it's fine <laughs> uh just just trying to be just trying to be reassuring nice little tour guy uh, uh, also since you've made it this far and in record time by the way this is quite the feat uh the dinosaur usually trips people up i'll be honest but good on you you get to ask three questions as long as i get to ask each of you a question if those terms seem agreeable then we can proceed the questions come as a group by the way you should talk them over it's pretty big deal Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. okay question one what is the meaning of it all right like (laughs) are we huddled for this is that what we're doing Uh, yeah yeah, yeah. i would hope so (laughs) (laughs) i thought that was just question one it's like oh and we're off okay Um, well, I don't know what questions. I, I don't think Tatiana has any questions because, like, we have a, a set path to go. Does anybody have any character personal questions that they'd want to ask a god? Huh. So, Lark uh, was really relieved, but suddenly looks a little concerned. He says, How, I want to know how many people have done this she said the dinosaur trips people up i thought Um, we were the first mm. like why Mm. is this why does this happen a lot (laughs) that's a pretty good question i concur i almost bella would say she was um i'm almost curious if they can tell us what we can expect going forward like what do we have to you know look forward to Mm. or what kind of challenges might we face there we go yeah that's another another good one Oh, how about how do we unmerge uh, unmerge them? <laughs> yeah, can we a, just, that would be helpful, right? Can we just have the deer take <laughs> care of Dharma? Can just you like, just murder yeah. half of this guy for us? <laughs> just pull the demon out and just kill it. Oh, still. <laughs> just <laughs> which one's the real? Which one's the real? Blevins? You refer over to Blevins, and he's like absentmindedly looking for uh, napkins. Because he started sweating profusely. <laughs> Are they napkins on the table, Jason? Um, like to the, this feast, like fancy cloth napkins. Yeah, <laughs> yes, or something. Yeah, that'll work. Um, I, that's a good third third question, though. I think honestly, like, yeah. it's more of a request, really. But <laughs> for our third question, um, could we get a favor? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, What's first? And who's going to ask it? Because then he gets to ask you a question. 
That's true. I, I think he's going to ask all of us a question anyway, right? Oh, okay. Yeah. It's true. Okay. Uh, so Lark will turn around and look at the deer, and he'll and he'll ask the same question. He'll say, so you said that a lot of other people uh, had trouble with the dinosaur. Uh, how long has this been going on? Like, how many people have gone through this? Because we thought that this was, like, new. Oh, you mean the tower? Yeah. You are the first group to uh, go through the tower, yet we have tried these challenges out on other trapped souls. The dinosaur usually just tears them to shreds over and over again. We would try it uh, at least 100, 150 times to make sure that we'd get the same results. And almost every time, they die horrifically. So... Like it's gonna clap its hooves together. Like good job. <laughs> so, Lark goes to f- ask a follow up question. But he's like, "Oh no, that would be the next question." No, okay. <laughs> 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 and then he just kind of like bites his lip and takes a step back. Would you mind if I ask you a question? Um, yep, yeah, that's the deal. Why'd you cast yourself into the portal? Well, um, it wasn't my first choice. Uh, it's just the only way to to get Darmok out, out. You know, we were trying to stop him from escaping hell, and we did. But this was the price. Not, uh, not the way we planned it, but what ended up happening. <laughs> There's going to be a long pause and like, hmm. And then his eyes are going to shift over to Blevins. Well, next his question. His gaze just kind of hurts a little. Yeah, just, just. <clears throat> like, you, you can tell, like, Ambry almost wanted to ask you a follow up question. It's like, hmm, okay. Well, <laughs> those aren't the rules. Like, that's not fair. Like, you know. <clears throat> Uh, Vela will then probably you know I guess take a step forward to be like what challenges can we expect moving forward or upwards through the tower well from here on out it's well, it's the rest of us and <laughs> they're not all gonna throw you a feast I hope you understand there's there's a lot of probing there's a lot of questions there's a no no (laughs) (laughs) alright well let's get started (laughs) count me in so sorry (laughs) (laughs) Say no more. <laughs> I've seen like an alien abduction. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Lord goes up a step and just Bruce Almighty's his clothes off. <laughs> <laughs> All right, sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> oh my god, you're a mother. Come on, like you're you're a Twice. grown ass woman. <laughs> <laughs> they're not all going to be as welcoming. There's there's a great deal of the Pantheon who doesn't want to see anyone escape this place. They think it would be easier if we just paved over everything and moved on. Now let me ask you a question. If you could change one thing in the world, what would it be? Is this directed to Vela or to everybody? No, this is directly to Vela. Okay. One thing in the world? Oh my goodness. Oh, that's tough. Oh no. Oh no. (laughs) 
<laughs> Hadn't thought about that. Um, after thinking it over for a minute, she'd probably be like, Ah. I'd get rid of slavers. <clears throat> Again, like a, 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 a suitable pause and then... Mm-hmm. And... Amber's going to shift over to Tatiana. Would you mind if I ask you a question? Don't we get one more? Well, I have to ask all of you a question, and there are five of you. So all right. We can wait if you'd like, okay. but... Sure, sure. If you make it out of this place, and you return to the mortal realm, your loyalty is eventually going to be tested. Are you ready for such a test? I would like to think so. My loyalties have only ever lied with myself in the end. Ah. <clears throat> uh. He's going to let it go. He's just going to be like, okay. You have to. Those are the rules. <laughs> that's, that's fair. Unless you can wish for more wishes, in which case. <laughs> that would make for a very long session. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, if you have your third question ready. Do we want to ask the unstuck one or do one of you want to ask a, your follow up question? I feel like the unstuck one's probably the most uh, pertinent. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, how are we supposed to unmerge these two? Blevins and Darmok. Well, <clears throat> at the end of the day, everyone's responsible for their own choices. It's nothing we can do for you, but this will have to be dealt with before you leave. If you leave. As and uh, Blevins just, yeah. just kind of I'm like, you know, he hears his name. It's almost like he's being called back into presence. And he's just kind of going to take a step back and put his hands up and say, I... I'm right as rain. I I don't think we need to worry about something as insignificant as what I've done in the past. <clears throat> as a question for you, good man, why would you allow yourself to become part of something so toxic that we wouldn't take him in with us. Why Why would you? Blevins is peering very hard at the deer. He's trying to say something, but it's almost like he's struggling against his own will. He's going to keep struggling for a little bit. Then, after a long silence, he's just going to say... You tried to keep him out. You all tried. It will not work. I'm sorry. Did you say something? Deer's going to look back to you. Yeah, that's going to have to be dealt with before you leave. I'm sorry. He's going to kind of like wave a hoof in the air. You're fine. <laughs> did, did you have a question for me? Just wave the hoof again. Oh. Nope. <sighs> Rude, dear. 
<clears throat> I say? <laughs> Amber's going to look at Lark. Well, that just leaves one more question. If you have the time. Or me? Or... <laughs> like point over at Josephine. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get to Josephine. Oh, God. <laughs> okay. You sacrificed yourself to save your friends, and that from the outside appears to be purely altruistic, which is rare. We we don't witness many of those acts. Would you have done the same if you knew that some or more of your your teammates were working against your cause in any way? So he he thought he knew where that question was going to go, but it zigs when he thought it was going to zag. So he kind of stops for a second and he goes, well, yeah because we still needed to keep a demon from escaping into the world. So, I mean, even if they were all, you know, not my friends, I still would have done it. There's going to be like the, the deer's going to nod its head. Um, and, and kind of like raise a hoof. I'm going to keep an eye on you. You're interesting. I broke the rules. I'm sorry, Josephine. <clears throat> How is the food? <laughs> um, God, she definitely did not eat that apple that they brought over to her. <laughs> I think, well, because, like, she was kind of gravitating towards, like, if there was, like, some pastries or something. So, like, when that question is asked, she's going to grab, like, the nearest pastry and just shove it in her mouth. Be like, it's fine. Mm-hmm. It's great. <laughs> Deer just has, like, an iPad with, like, a Yelp review. <laughs> just how was it? <laughs> Seven out of five. So good. <laughs> and then it's really dry, so now I need something. Now she needs something to drink. Like, oh, like, oh man, you, people know when you're lying about their cooking too. So it's like, oh, all right, fine. You know, that's just. Um, so deer's gonna stand up, and uh, and 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 sort of like you know, kind of like not stomp but like clip clomp around the room like looking at all of you well this has been fun but i need to be getting on my way and i'm sure when you've all had your fill you're going to need to continue your journey i wish you luck of course um it's not going to be easy most likely but i'm sure you all know what you're doing if we meet again someday, I'll be sure to pick your brains a bit more. And Mark will do like a little courteous bow or something like that. You know, say thank, thanks for the food and uh, the information. If I may, <clears throat> and uh, you can all do as you like, this is none of my business, but This isn't a journey that most people are meant to succeed at. It's going to be difficult and, well, you're all going to need to rely on each other. <clears throat> I, I would just appreciate that, the fact that you have each other to lean on. It's, it's a rarity. And just just kind of clip clop off into the light, and then that that sort of fades off into into nothing, and no more deer. 
We should have asked how we leave this level, guys. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess we're stuck on the food level forever. <laughs> now we're stuck here oh, for eternity. Oh. Shoot. No. Um, yeah, I feel like there's a big, long pre- pregnant pause, and everybody's like, uh, mm-hmm. is it appropriate to keep eating? Or <laughs> <laughs> You always feel weird after you talk to a god. <laughs> yeah. Like I'm still yeah. kind of hungry, but it doesn't feel right. <laughs> I mean, they ate stuff, so I think mm-hmm. it's fine. I think that was to make you feel a little bit better. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Like if someone just walks in, it's like they're judging, but like it's like, hey, you had some grapes. It's fine. Like, you know, <laughs> they picked. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Guys, I think it's a good time for us to stop for the evening. And I think we'll pick up next time with you, one of you, rolling and. We'll see what level we get to. Cool. Over halfway. We're moving on up that uh, tower. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> but we still have a lot to figure out along the way, like how to unmerge. I'm not. I'm not going to call anything out. But like, he didn't really answer my question. <laughs> just like, oh, that's a problem. He's yeah. like, oh yeah, you're going to have to do that. And then I was like, like oh, you know yeah. what? To be fair, he didn't say we he had to answer the question. It's just that we he was going to ask them. So yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's a like you had to answer truthfully. It's like, yeah, that is an issue. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, about just that. Kind of long. I personally, Good luck. <laughs> yeah, I would. Don't I would think, think it's that, that big of a deal. <laughs> it's like if <laughs> Scooby and Shaggy merge together. You know, we're just having fun. It's like you know, if a god can't tell us how to do it, maybe it's not possible. Hmm. But we'll find out on the next episode of Dungeons and Randomness. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Karen. Hi. Tell him what the beautiful people have won. What did they win? Thank you guys so much for listening to our episode. Um, Don't forget to support us at patreon.com slash DNR. And we'll see you next time.